What's up everybody? Welcome back to BT Willis Garage. We just moved into a new house recently that has a pool and I want to tell you a little bit about pool maintenance today. So this is a saltwater pool, meaning that it has a salt generator. Uh, pretty much there are fins inside of the salt generator that generate chlorine from salt and that's going to require maintenance. So we're going to go take a look at the Jandy salt generator that we have. We're going to shut off, pretty much shut off the pump itself, the pump and filter, so that we can unscrew some unions. After we unscrew those unions, we're going to be able to take a look inside of the salt generator and see if those plates have any calcium buildup. And I'm sure they do because we're getting an error code 120, meaning uh, low voltage at that, uh, at that converter. And I think we can fix it versus replacing it. So that's what we're going to take a look at. So here we are um, at the pool equipment. You can see I have my return side on the left and that is where the salt generator is. So it's the, it's the Jandy AquaPure Pro Series and you can see the electrical connection there at the top um, as well as two unions that you can unscrew to service it. So in order to service it, you need to walk over to your unit and turn your pump off. You should know how to do that if you're doing this kind of maintenance, how to turn your pump off. Afterward, you're going to take some channel locks and unscrew these two unions and we're going to disconnect the salt cell and take a look inside it. So here we have uh, the AquaLink, AquaPure. Um, in order to turn the pump off, you can put it in service mode here. You can see that it's on auto now. If you're getting an error like 120, it's likely meaning that you need to replace or service your salt cell. Hopefully you can service it with a little bit of muriatic acid. Um, but anyway, you can check your salinity, 3.7 is pretty good, it's on the higher end for this system. And uh, ultimately you're going to put it in service mode by pressing this button once and that will turn off all of your pool equipment um, so that you can unscrew those unions and take a look inside your cell. So at this point what we're doing is we're taking off those unions on both sides of the salt cell. Keep in mind that we did turn off, you know, we literally just turned it off, but if water is flowing at a high rate, you did not turn off your pump and you will want to screw that back on and turn off your pump. So once the salt sale comes off, this is my buddy Ryan helping here. He um, runs a pool maintenance company in Greensboro, North Carolina, if you want his info. But you can see this calcium buildup that is on the salt cell, you know, on those fins or those pieces of metal. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take the acid. You can pick up acid on Amazon. It's a little more expensive than your local pool store, but I will put a link for that. Um, Ryan has built a custom plug for the bottom of these Jandy units that he keeps on his truck. Now he does this every day. Um, I'll see if I can get info from him if anybody asks for it on how he built this plug. But the whole, the whole concept here is guys, we need to make sure the bottom is blocked and he actually brought his own piece of, um, collar here. Like we have on our, our union collars, uh, that he brought because the collars of the union do not come off. Um, so as you can see, he's tightening it down. He's going to lay it on a flat surface and there he is showing that those collars do not come off. He's going to lay this on a flat surface. And the whole goal here is to not have to waste acid, to not have to soak the outside of the salt cell in acid. We really just need it on the inside. So what Ryan's done is he's grabbed some pool water. Um, now we were cleaning our, our filter as well, and that's not a part of this video. So you don't need to take the top off of that filter. We just happen to be doing it at the same time. He's filling it with pool water. It can be fresh water. It really doesn't matter. We just grabbed it out of the pool. He's telling you here that you only have to fill it halfway up with water and you don't need to fill the whole thing up with, you know, the acid because the fins of the salt cell only come up about three quarters of the way. So you will get a um, reaction here. You're going to see some, um, you know, some, some smoke come out, if you will, some vapor come out uh, as the acid mixes with the water. There it is. Um, so he's just slowly, slowly filling that up, letting it settle. Now, um, what you're seeing there, that reaction that you're seeing is that calcium buildup getting ate up from the acid. So that's a great thing. We can tell it's not leaking. We could put this in the bucket if we were nervous about the acid leaking down on anything that it would damage. You could be doing this inside of the bucket. We just chose not to. So you can see it bubbling over just a bit there and you want to continue to add the acid and let it bubble until it gets about four fifths of the way up that salt cell. So there it is doing its job. It's doing great. Ryan ends up adding just a little bit more. And this whole process takes anywhere from five to 10 minutes. And there's the results. No more uh, calcium buildup on either side of the cell. We're going to go ahead and put it back together. 
Now this first time that we lined it up, uh, we wanna make sure that our flow is going correctly. So it's gonna be going, as you can see, you know, just maybe take a picture before you take yours apart to make sure you put yours back together properly and you'll be in good shape, guys. That's how you clean your salt cell.